In this video, I'm going to show you how to revalue your inventory. So in our inventory module, if we go to configurations and we look at our product categories, we've created a product category here called automated. And the inventory valuation method is automated with average cost. Now this only pertains to inventory valuation method set as automated because if it was standard, then you can just change your prices. But when we're working with automated inventory valuation, we want to properly revalue our inventory and create the journal entry that represents that revaluation. So in order to achieve this, we have a couple of products that are in stock. We have our product one and product two. We'll look at that in our valuation account or valuation menu item here. And we see we have 50 units of product two, 10 units of product one with each unit valued at 50 and $20. Those are also going to be reflected on the product itself. So if we go into our products here and we look at product one, we'll see that the cost price is $20 per unit and the cost price of product two is $50 per unit. Now, there's several reasons why you might want to revalue your inventory. For example, if you need to mark down your inventory in, um, let's say for commodities where the value always shifts, then you may need to decrease your, the value of your inventory or if the value on your books um, no longer meets the market price. Always check with your accountant first on the best ways to handle revaluation, but in this video I'm just going to show you how to do it. And the way you do it here is in our stock valuation, we want to group this by product. And as a result, if we hover over one of our products here, there's going to be a plus sign to add a manual valuation. We can do that for each product here. So let's select our product for uh, product one, which is currently valued at $20 per unit. We're going to click on the plus sign here and it's going to bring us to a menu or a form to complete the revaluation. Now let's start with a positive value. So let's say that we want to revalue this at a additional value. So right now we're at $20 a unit, but let's say that um, we want to increase it by another $5 per unit and sorry, $5 total. So the total value is going to be 205. And let's say, for example, this was because we had to move the product from one warehouse to the next warehouse and it, we incurred some shipping fees, so the value of the inventory has increased. Now we can say uh, enter warehouse transit. We're going to put it in our inventory valuation journal and we need to give it an accounting date as well as a counterpart account. So in this example here, for this specific example, if we were trying to recognize um, our shipping fees as some value in our inventory, then we want to use that shipping fees account. So we just have our general expense account here, so I don't have a shipping fees account, but ideally you may have a shipping fees account, so I'll just use expenses here. What we're just going to do is decrease our expenses and increase our stock valuation account. So we can click revalue. Now we see a new revalue line added here with an additional $5, which will total 205 for product one. Now if we go into products and we look at product one, we see that the cost price is 2050 times 10 units, which is going to give us our total value. If we go back to valuation, and again, we'll group this by product, and we'll do the same thing for product two. So instead, product two will do, decrease the value. So let's say that we need to revalue this inventory uh, for whatever reason. In this scenario, we're going to have a counterpart account as maybe our cost of revenue account. Uh, whatever, whatever your account recommends, uh, this is just an example. This is not financial advice. So we're going to give it a reason. Let's just say that setting to market value, and we're going to give it an accounting date of the 23rd. And here we're re reducing our total value by $10. Let's just say 100, make it an even number. And we'll see that our units should reduce to a price of $48 per unit. So we can revalue. And we see a line created. And if we go into our products and look at product two, we'll see that this is $48 now. Now, finally, let's look at our journal entries. And we'll look at our, all of our journal entries that were created here. We're going to look at our inventory valuation. So let's look at our journal inventory. And we'll see that we did actually purchase these two items recently, but then we revalued them. So product one and product two. If we look at product one, we'll see the reasoning, the user who, who did it, 
the product and the adjustment. So from 205 to 210. And we see that we're going to use the counterpart account as of expenses or as expenses. And the same thing is true here, but we revalued it from 2400 to 2300. And we see the stock valuation and cost of goods sold that we used. So that is how you revalue inventory in Odoo.